What's going on guys, it's Brandon Man with The Master Plan and I'm back to talk to you guys with another topic today. We're going to be talking about the Jon Snow prequel series, I'm sorry, sequel series. And I don't understand why people are kind of excited for it. Uh, people are excited for the little retcon they want to do. And before I get into this, I'm sorry, this is just my discombobulated thoughts. I just want to talk to you guys in a more of a rant style format. It's going to be less edited, uh, more so just me giving my unpure adulterated thoughts. Um, thesis is about what the fuck Jon Snow is doing with his own series, even though Game of Thrones is supposed to be his own series, yada yada. But before I hop into that... Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe right now or I will come in your house and I will pour Arizona green tea and waterboard you with it. You don't want that to happen. That's not a good thing to happen to people. But let's talk about this. So, the Jon Snow sequel series is supposed to set after events. Um, the theory is that it's supposed to be correcting a lot of wrongs that Game of Thrones Season 8 has brought upon us. And that's cool and all. But my problem is that it's fucking stupid. It's redundant to make a Jon Snow sequel series because the the Song of Ice and Fire, right? Game of Thrones, all those books, all those seasons were penultimately the story of Jon Snow, Aegon Targaryen, right? So it's I find it very just unappealing that it's very jarring. I feel like the entire series, even if I do watch it all the way through, I'm just going to be reminded of the fact that Game of Thrones Season 8, like, I, I feel like that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to escape that feeling, Game of Thrones Season 8. Like, you even see that in House of the Dragon when they bring up um, Aegon's prophecy and they bring up the Cat's Paw Dagger and the Song of Ice and Fire. They keep bringing it up and trying to, like, low-key kind of retcon it, but not in they're, they're trying to retcon it. They're trying to give you a different feel about the prophecy itself, but when you drop something as horrible as Game of Thrones season 8 like, I don't think you could really get rid of that feeling I feel like Dumb and Dumber could even cure cancer right they could do the best thing society has ever seen in the history of the humanity right and I would still not forgive them for what happened with Game of Thrones season 8 because ultimately it's just it's, it's very disappointing it was disappointing for the actors, it was disappointing for the viewers, it was disappointing for the writers, it was disappointing for the show writers. Everyone was disappointed with ultimately how season 8 was viewed, even if you enjoyed season 8. How season 8 was viewed really distorted a lot of people, and you, you can't really escape that. So, the idea of trying to right your wrongs with this Jon Snow sequel series is just, it doesn't make any, it doesn't really make any sense. Because, like, what, the whole point of the threat of the White Walkers, that this was, you know, the ultimate showdown, the ultimate finale, that humanity itself had to band together and to defeat. So, once you, narratively, right, narratively, once you beat your big bad, anything after your big bad is, is kind of a cash grab. And people can see that. Like, there, I don't think there's anyone in doubt that thinks that this Jon Snow series is not a cash grab. So, what are you going to do after the White Walkers? What is, what, is, what is a big threat after the wall? Now, you might be saying, what if they bring back the White Walkers? So, that means season 8 was useless. If that's the case, I would rather this, I, I, I hate this argument because I've never understood what people say it. Just remake season 8. And give it more seasons. I would rather you do that. I would genuinely rather you just remake season eight than for you to give light of this like this this joke, this bad joke. That that's what this is. What this is. It is a horrible, distasteful joke. Those are my reasonings for not wanting the Jon Snow sequel uh, sequel series. Because like I would love to follow the character of Jon Snow. I would love to, but like not in his own story. Like, like let's, let's say if Jon Snow took the Iron Throne and then we get the Arya series, I would love to see Jon pop in. I would have loved to see my boy Aegon pop in, but not in terms of what we already got. The time for that's failed. I just say wait three to four years, announce that you're going to be animating Game of Thrones, and then fix it that way. It's the best thing I could think for HBO. So that's my theory, guys. That's just my talk. Sorry, I had to get this off my chest. I was at work and I couldn't think about it. I couldn't. I couldn't even sleep because this was just on my chest, irking me. Uh, make, well, that's pretty much the video. My first style rant type video. I hope I wasn't just uh ooh uh uh, uh too much. Um, I'm gonna try to cut most of it out and edit. But uh, see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe, or I will beat you with a stick. And peace.